There are a number of uh, mechanisms that we can put in place to ensure that uh, what we do with good intentions is actually improving uh, the well-being of women and youth. The first thing that you need to do is also to collect sex disaggregated data. And with sex disaggregated data, we understand the differential impacts of the different interventions uh, on uh, both uh, women and youth. And we would also, one of the key aspects that we have been uh, discussing is that we, we shouldn't be discussing women and youth issues without engaging the women and youth themselves. So we want to bring them on board so that the solutions that we are coming with have to be sustainable. In order for them to be sustainable and also locally owned by the women and youth, we need to discuss with them, uh, develop solution, our pathways uh, out of climate change jointly with them. And once you uh, move in that direction, it ensures that whatever solutions that you come with are not, uh, will not result in negative consequences uh, on women and youth. So it's a key area uh, that we are focusing on to ensure that uh, the impact that we have, we leave the communities better off uh, than before we came in.